Welcome. I'm Leo Tabak, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy at the Hyatt Hills Golf Complex in Clark, New Jersey. Today, August 3rd, we're going to talk about a couple of areas that will allow you and help you to get through the playing season a little deeper and a little further. The first discussion I'd like to have is using the Orange Whip. Orange Whip is a wonderful training tool. It introduces you to flow, introduces you to balance and timing. It allows the weight at the end of the orange the orange ball at the end to create a deflection in the shaft. And that's what my topic is today. The deflection of the shaft, although exaggerated as we look at it with the training aid, is what we're, we would like to deliver out to the golf ball. We would like to deliver out to the golf ball as much deflection as possible. And barring a longer discussion on club fitting, that's what club fitting is about. It's coming up with a club shaft or a club head and a club shape that fits you physically and allows you to have the maximum deflection at impact that you can have. So when we're swinging the golf club, the shaft the club deflects. This is an exaggeration but it does, it's called loading. We want to maintain this load from the start of the backswing to the other side of the ball. That's the, called separation. So we want to maintain this to impact and then separation on the other side of the ball. And the way we do that is what we've been doing throughout the series of videos and posts on my website and Facebook is to allow you to stand to the golf ball that fits the shape of the club. And we fit the shape of the club where the right shoulder is lower than the left, weights forward on the balls of the feet, arms are hanging, and we make a golf, we make our golf swing. Once we do that, we need to trust whatever it is we have created at the start of that golf swing. Whatever that particular ball flight pattern is, whatever that particular distance is, wind, where the ball is sitting, and so on, we need to trust what that is. And once you have that trust, then you can play to your highest potential. But if you're interfering with how-tos, you're not going to enjoy your day, and you will not hit that one shot that changes your golf career. You'll notice the sticks on the ground, that's, that's the intended target line. This is the body line. And in order to keep the deflection of the shaft, we need to keep moving. Let me ask you another question. Do you have a routine? Do you have a routine that fits your personality? Sure. I'm sure the majority of you step to the ball with your right side, the right-handed players step to the ball with the right side, put the club behind the ball, but do you do it at your own pace or are you thinking of something mechanical to do before you get there? The mechanics are left on the range, the mechanics are left with the coach, the mechanics disappear on the golf course, but everyone has their own clock. And I'm going to turn my back on the camera for one second as I walk in on the, behind the golf ball down the line. And everyone has a clock. And some players have that type of a clock. And some players have that type of a clock. But it all depends on you. And it should be that for that particular swing. You know, the most important shot we have is the next one. That's what Bobby Jones said way back in the, in the 30s. The next shot is what's important. We need to stay in the moment. We need to stay with whatever you have for that particular shot, whatever your background is, to play it. So find out what your style is. What is your signature routine? Is it fast? Is it slow? 
My personal routine is I stare down the target line and I look at the smallest landing zone. And then I walk in. And I'm ready to go. When I start my golf swing, the shaft is deflecting backwards. And I want to maintain that deflection as long as possible. Object rotating around its center increases in width and speed. Object in motion maintains its direction. Once you slow down, the swing falls apart. So you need to figure out what is your clock? What is your timing? And you want to keep that timing. You want to keep it no matter what. Oh, no matter what? Distractions? OK, the pin is cut just over the other side of the water. Well, hopefully you pulled enough club. OK, the flag stick is in the back and is out of bounds. That's golf course management. You've decided the type of shot to hit. Go with it. If you don't commit to whatever it is you have knowledge-wise, you're never going to know if it works. And it could be any kind of a swing adjustment by your PGA or LPGA professional, but you have to go with it to make sure. And just to go back one more time to the orange whip, we want to maintain the deflection of the shaft. We want to maintain it at impact and its separation. We want to walk in in the direction we've chosen and we want to golf our ball. This is the most important shot that I have in my career. I'm Leo Tabak, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy. Enjoy your next round of golf.